Welcome back to episode two of our Western Australia road trip video. So right now we have left Exmouth and we had to decide if we like heading up north or like heading down to the southwest where like the colder and unpredictable weather is and also like nice beaches the northern part is a little bit more remote more quietness we decided to because like the options were pretty much like unbeatable we decided to head to crawl bay just spending some days at the beach snorkeling, enjoying the Ningal Reef and the beautiful sea. Crawl Bay absolutely didn't disappoint. We had just an amazing time there, especially the four-wheel drive on the beaches. It's just uh, amazing. But it was time to head more south to the Francis National Park around Shark Bay. We were facing to a 40 kilometer off-road track like deep red sand. It will be one of the most exhausting drives we have, we've ever had so far on our journey. The National Park was amazing. The contrast between the blue water from the ocean and the deep red sand was just uh, unbeatable. But like the 40 kilometer off-road drive was one of the most exhausting drives we've ever done. Like people got stuck in the sand and they had to return or we have to help them several times because they had like a four-wheel drive but the cars in general, not, not all of the cars can do this drive. You need some feeling on the pedal at all, but Alex did a great job and yeah, I was just flying the drone. In the National Park, we found a quiet, remote campsite, so it was time to set up our tent. Our car was equipped with an electric rooftop tent, which is pretty easy to set up, just reusing the carabiners and just pressing one button and the rooftop will extend automatically on, on his own. So it was quite a little bit of luxury camping, but the tent did an absolute amazing job and you were totally safe on, on the roof of your car, like from snakes, spiders, or other, like other animals. So yeah, we really enjoyed our uh, rooftop tent and yeah, it was quite spacious, like you have light and uh, electricity up there. So it was just amazing. We also really enjoyed our awning. Um, it was pr pretty easy to set up, like just expanding the awning and within one minute you were totally fine from the Australian uh, sun, which can be sometimes <laughs> pretty aggressive. So yeah, just an amazing car, amazing equipment at all and we really enjoyed our like full autonomous camping.
After one last remote quiet night in the bush, it was time to head finally south. We passed Perth and headed directly to Margaret River. In Margaret River, we found a small, nice roastery. At the roastery, we had one of the best cups of coffee we have ever had. I preferred to fill the coffee option and Adam prepared one of the best filters I've ever had so far. It was an anaerobic fermented Kenyan washed coffee and the layers of flavors were just undescribable. We spent a couple of hours at the roastery, so time passed super fast. But Adam gave us a tip about a small coastal trail at Yingalup. So we headed down to Yingalup and like explore this trail. It's life and the point is enjoying who you share it with. Joy is who you share it with. And the weeks and the weekends. The trail in Yingalop was next to the shore and an absolute bliss of a trail. It was super sandy and up and downhill from my first run. It was pretty ex exhausting, but we had a, a nice time. Also, it was a little bit narrow, so sometimes we <laughs> had been a little bit scared about the snakes. But anyway, the run was amazing and Yingalup as itself was uh, just an amazing small village. time to head more into the southwest. Albany will be our last destination of our journey, but we tried to fill in the days in between, so we decided to uh, go one time again off-road at Banksa uh, campsite. The campsite as itself was super remote again. We had to do another 15 kilometer off-road drive, which was not too bad, but also a little bit tricky to do. We arrived at a late evening, so the light and the scenery in general was pretty unbeatable. We arrived at the late evening and the scenery was pretty epic. Misty air from the swell combined with perfect light and the greens from the trees and the red sand. It was just, oh, I've never uh, seen such an amazing scenery. So after these 15 kilometers, it was time to set up uh, the tent again and to prepare our dinner. Our trip, most of the time we were cooking on our own, like we really enjoyed cooking at the campsite. Sometimes there were a grill on the campsite or most of the time we were just cooking on our camp cooker, which was pretty easy to use. So it was a good mix from like just having easy pasta or some meat or just wraps like tonight. Um, we really enjoyed preparing the food on our own. It was easy to do, it was super convenient because sometimes you just can stop. It was a good routine, just getting back to like a daily life routine. And yeah, and during the preparation for the dinner, some uh, kangaroos were <laughs> also having dinner. So they came pretty close and also this was another amazing experience.
not so nice morning because uh, a lot of flies um, were around. We uh, left the campsite pretty quickly and headed finally to Albany. It was a coastal trail along the Bolt Head. It was like a coastal ridge. We were walking directly on the ridge on the left side, just the ocean. And it was a pretty hot day, so another exhausting day on the trail. But the trail in general was totally worth the effort. So it was a perfect ending of our road trip. Yeah, this is it. Um, first time for me talking to a camera in general. I hope you enjoy this kind of video and there will be a bunch of videos more in the next couple of weeks and months. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, so we are right now in our apartment in Marujidor, which is on the east coast, sunny coast. After our trip in WA, we took a flight from Perth to Marujidor where we are currently settling down in some kind. Like I'm getting back to a training routine. Alex um, like is looking for a job, but uh, today um, she finally got approved at a real nice coffee shop. So we are currently just figuring out all the routines, enjoying like getting back to training, um, getting familiar with the new training environment. So there will be definitely lots of diff more videos in the next couple of weeks um, about these things. So today <laughs> was a long training day for me. Maybe you see it from the sun in general, a uh, nice open water swim. But yeah, um, make sure to like uh, and subscribe to stay up to date on our trip here in Australia. And thanks for watching.